This art lesson is about an amazing Japanese 20th century artist, Atsuko Tanaka, and how she used expressive color, dots, and lines. Who was Atsuko Tanaka? Born in Osaka, Japan in 1932, she became a leading member of Japan's avant-garde art movement in the 1950s. Tanaka is especially well known for her electric dress, which is an amazing sculpture that she created in 1956 from painted light bulbs and electric cables. Can you imagine? She wore the dress to parties and art exhibitions. How playful and exciting! Her actions were a precursor to New York happenings and performances in the 1960s. Tanaka's experiences with her electric dress later inspired her to create huge, colourful dot and line paintings. What feelings and energies do you sense when you look at her colours and shapes? Let Atsuko Tanaka's art inspire your imagination. Today's art activity is to study Tanaka's art, then watch the demo, and finally, let your imagination flow freely so that you can dream up an idea in your own style using expressive colours, dots, and lines. The first step is to draw lots of circles on a sheet of A4 art paper with an HB pencil. Draw lightly and draw lots of different sizes and try to fill the page. Next I used watercolours. You could also use watercolours, or you could use crayons, colour pencils, pastels, marker pens, or collage. Step 2. Connect all your circles with coloured lines. What colours will you use for this? Draw or paint your lines in your own expressive style, and experiment. Try lots of different types of line, thick and thin lines, smooth and wobbly lines, and bold and delicate lines. Thanks for watching this far. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, consider joining my more than 1300 strong subscriber community and hit the notification bell to stay in touch with my latest videos. Step 3. Now colour the circles. What is your colour style for this picture? Will you use bold colours or delicate colours? Harmonious colours or contrasting colours? When you choose your colours, consider the energy or mood you want to express. Remember that colours have a strong influence on our feelings. When you have finished your circles, have a look at the overall balance of shapes and colours. What do you think? I decided to add some more lines with the colour from my darkest circle. You can add more lines too if you want to. When you are happy with everything, you're finished. Congratulations!